Hey everybody, welcome to a new Killer Sites video training tutorial. This particular lesson is going to be dealing with HTML5, CSS3, and jQuery. It's primarily a project-based video that will look at how to take an existing XHTML document and convert it into a HTML5 document that utilizes the newest CSS3 techniques as well as working with jQuery. In other words, we'll be moving from this very simple document and transitioning into a document that looks a little bit more like this. And as you can see, we'll be discussing how to work with CSS3 to do some interesting things like provide some rounded edges, to take fonts and substitute them for fonts that you may not have on your particular computer or your client may not have on theirs, but we'll ensure that they'll be seeing the font that we want them to, the way we want them to, using CSS3. As well, we have some animation techniques like working with transforms, but we also have things like transitions that will allow us to fade in documents and create different styles of animation that perhaps you're unaccustomed to inside of a HTML5 environment without the use of Flash. As well, I'll be talking to you about how to work with some jQuery so that if some of those techniques are not available on certain browsers, we'll always be able to work with jQuery to create something like this slider or, as you can see here, to also work with these modular style of opening windows inside of this environment. I should mention that this video is primarily aimed at beginner level to intermediate level web developers. So for those of you that are completely new to HTML development, you should find yourself at thekillersitesvideostore.com and get yourself a couple of preliminary videos that could help you before coming to this particular video that you're watching right now. For those of you that are members, don't even worry about it. You've probably already gone through these videos already. But for those of you who are new, do remember that basic web design is a very important thing for you to know before you can come to this video. As well, CSS Layouts is a video that I've recorded also. And as you can see here, the video that we're, or the file that we're going to be working with and converting into a HTML5 file can be found in this particular video here. As well, while we will be talking about HTML5 and CSS, obviously, there's a lot more in-depth material on these subjects that you can find in the HTML5 and CSS3 video also available at the Killer Sites Video Store. In order to work along with this video, all you're going to need is a simple text editor. All the files are going to already be provided for you. And as you can see, there's going to be an old XHTML section and a version 1, 2, and 3 of our progress and finished files for this particular tutorial. However, on your part, all you will need is a simple editor. So, you can choose from any number of different editors that are available online absolutely for free. If you're working in a Windows-based environment, you'll probably be wanting to look at something like NetBeans. It's nice and easy. It's a free little text editor, and it works just great. For those of you that are a little bit more familiar with working on a Mac, you may want to look at Text Wrangler. Text Wrangler, as it says here, is the little brother to BB Edit, and it is a great HTML and text editor for the Macintosh. As well, there's a lot of other ones that you might want to look at. There's this one here called HTML Kit, and it's got some free work that you can take a look at and work with. My particular favorite being on a Mac would be working with Text Wrangler. But of course, if you prefer, you can always go to adobe.com and you can download the 30-day trial of Dreamweaver. And even though we're going to be working inside of Dreamweaver ourselves, I'm only going to be working in the text view and we're going to be simply looking at the code for this particular file. So you can follow along with any HTML editor. So let's fire up that editor and we'll begin in the next video by taking a look at XHTML and comparing it with HTML5.